Okay, back again with our third board problem from chapter one. This is a break-even problem. So what do we have? A t-shirt maker is estimating his costs. So fixed costs, and fixed costs are things like rent, uh, labor, electricity, gas, stuff that you have to pay all the time are $3,000 a month. And the variable cost, this is the cost of making one t-shirt, um, and it's called a variable cost because this cost varies depending on how many t-shirts you choose to make, is $2.75. So, he sells t-shirts for $12.99. And the big question is, how many shirts does he have to sell to break even? Okay, so again, a word problem. What is the first thing to do in looking for a word problem is to find out what it is you are looking for. So what is we, what are we looking for? Again, it's in the statement with the question mark usually. How many shirts to break even? And that's our question mark. So how many shirts? That's what we're looking for. So give it a name. We'll call this X. So X is the number of shirts that he has to make to break even. So what are his costs? Well, three thousand dollars. That's the fixed cost. And then he has a cost of two dollars and seventy-five cents for each shirt he makes. So if he makes X shirts, that's the variable cost. Right? Two dollars and seventy-five times X. So if he makes ten shirts. If X is 10, then he lays out $27.50. And so for making 10 shirts in a month, his total cost would be the $27.50 for making the 10 shirts, plus the $3,000, because you know, he has to pay that every month. That's his fixed cost. So total cost equals 2.75X plus 3,000. So the slope here equals the per unit cost. It's the cost of each shirt. The y-intercept in this line here, right, that's my y-intercept, that's my slope. Um, that's the fixed cost. And note, if x is 0, right, if he doesn't make any shirts at all, he still has to lay out $3,000. Um, $3, for this fixed cost. Okay, what's the total revenue? Well, we haven't looked at anything else, right? He might sell other stuff. But total revenue off of t-shirts is, well, each t-shirt he gets $12.99 for. And so how much money does he bring in? Well, $12.99 on each shirt times the number of shirts he sells. So X times $12.99. So if he says sells 10 shirts, that's $129.90. So break even. What's a break even point? Well, that's where your total cost equals your total revenue. Another way to think about this, this is where you're making no profit. You're not making any money, but on the other hand, you're not losing any money. So since we have these nice equations now, we know the total cost is this. 2.75x plus 3,000, and then total revenue is 1299x. And so solve this for x, right? Because that's what we're looking for. x is how many shirts does he have to sell to break even? Okay, so how do we solve this? Well, let's move the 275x over to the other side, and we get 3,000 equals, oh, uh, I have it here, 1024x. We'll just subtract a 275x from both sides. And note that this 1024, this number here, that's the revenue you get from a shirt minus the cost you get from the shirt. So this is the profit that he makes on each shirt. So how many shirts does he have to make so that these profits erase his debt of $3,000? Well, 3,000 over 10.24 equals x. And if you actually divide that out on your calculator, you get 292.9688 more numbers. But you can't sell 96% of a shirt, 
So how many shirts does he actually have to sell? 293 shirts to break even. In fact, if he sells 293 shirts, he'll be a little bit ahead, but not much. Okay, so break even, right? A pretty standard um, concept in business. It's total cost equals total revenue. That's where your break even point is. Um, cost in this case is nice and linear. Uh, variable costs times number of shirts plus your fixed costs. Revenue is just how much you sell things for times ha however many things you sell. You set them equal to each other and you solve. And again, like every word problem, always start off by asking yourself, what am I looking for? And then give it a name so you can set up some equations to solve for what it is you're looking for.